Hi everyone. Uh, this is what we're going to do today. These were owls that I did a couple of years ago in clay. And I had a picture on my uh, computer of where I did this. This is exactly how I colored it in. And so I made stickers. I did spray these with a sealer spray. Uh, I didn't do that the last time on the fall flower ones because it said you didn't have to, but then it stuck to the mold. So I did spray those down. I cut them out. Uh, I am going to stick them right on to the uh, molds. And I think I had a problem getting these off before. And I'm almost thinking about doing those in white. But see, it's it's a little bit too big right there. And I was going to sort of stick them down in the sides. Um, so, now we're going to we're going to stick with the original plan. And there it goes. Yeah, it's sticky. I don't have my gloves on yet. And I really don't want to be doing this because I don't want my fingerprints to be all over this. too late now I guess um, but you know I want them to stick so okay I'll be right back okay I'm back I lost one of them because I took it off to try to put a little bit of Mod Podge and I put it on a piece of paper the one that I had already pulled and the paper stuck to the back so we're down to three now so don't do that. Don't stick it back on the paper thinking it's going to be good because it's not. Okay, I've done those two already. And I'll show you what I did. I used this glitter and all I'm doing is I'm going in with a heavy brush and doing a part there. And will this rise when I put the resin in? Yes, it will. But not quite as much because... Um, brushing it and not just sprinkling it um, and so it's going to hold on to the mold a little bit better not totally and if it goes up underneath that's okay I don't care uh, and that's all I'm going to do with that color and then I'm going to come back in with this color right here again with a pretty full brush and I'm going to, I'm sort of scrubbing the, the mold where I'm putting this. So you can tell. And that's not, I want a little bit more over there on the edge. And then with a light coat, I'm sort of just putting it around. And again, I don't care. I do expect some of it to come up. And that is okay with me. And I'm just putting clear resin in this. So I'll be back when I get my resin mixed up. Okay, guys, I'm back. I have... Uh, I'm looking to see how much I have. And this does not say cups. This says 450 mLs. I don't know if this is going to be enough, but we're going to try. And I'm going to pour slowly. And I do have it on the Let's Resin Curing Machine bottom.
and I did use the Let's Resin mixer on this. I absolutely love it. I did not use the debubbler, and this is Nick Pro Epoxy Resin. And I am filling it all the way up. Hope y'all can see this. My hand's probably in the way, isn't it? I don't know if this is going to be enough for this one. But I can always mix some up. I can mix more up if I need to. Don't need much. I think I'm good. I think I think I'm good. Wow, that won't happen again. I don't know if this is level. I hope it is. Um and I may have air bubbles. I'm looking, y'all. I'm looking to see. If I do. I don't want to stick my finger down in there. But I do want to make sure that. There's not any air bubbles up underneath the owl. And I really don't want to disturb the glitter because it's actually staying more uh, in place than I thought it would. see any air bubbles I'm doing this just in case there are I have a hair in my mouth. Okay. I think that's all I'm going to do. Well, wait a minute.
just to pop. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to, uh, I'll just show you. I got the lid right over here. I'm going to pop it on and then turn it on. And I will be back when they are done. Hi guys, we're back. I just took the top off. They're still a little warm. I don't know what those are. What is that? Is it a bubble? I don't know. Hmm. what that is what is that right there is it a big old bubble i don't know well we're gonna we're gonna take them out we're gonna see we're gonna see what they look like And that is what they look like. And it's like they need something on the top. I don't like that. Okay, let's just take them all out. I'd rather, I don't know, I think black would be, they need a back though. They do need something. So. Okay, I've mixed up a little bit more resin. And I'm going to pour this on the top. want a real thick Ooh, I see him. Not paying any attention. My light is not on. That's what it is. It's too much. <laughs> am I making a mess? Oh, yes, I am. I'm trying to see and I'm I'm having a hard time seeing it. I'm gonna clean up that edge though. I don't know if you can see it uh better. I'm gonna turn the slide on up underneath here. I hope it doesn't glare. Is that glaring on it? I need it to see what I'm doing here. Just a minute, and I know my arm's in the way. I'm sorry, but I want to get that resin. Off of this. Yeah, I got way too much resin in here. I'm just pouring it in the one that I don't have resin in right now. Now I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Okay. 
in the end. So I'm trying to get it off. I don't want it on the bottom. And I know I have over pour. And I will get that off when the top gets done. All that can be done when this layer. Okay. Now that went on so easy. Okay. <clears throat> Trying to make sure that I don't have any bubbles. I'm trying to decide if I want to add a little bit more glitter or if I just want to leave it the way it is. Sorry about that. I'm cleaning off my gloves trying to get some of the glitter off. Okay. And I'm looking for the glitter that I put on here. And I don't see it. It was the chunky blue. Oh, here it is. I was trying to bring that blue out a little bit.
Hmm. I'm still not sure, but. A wipey, a baby wipe. I'm just dropping some in the tweezers. I'm trying not to put too much, but I think I've already put more than what I wanted. But we'll see. Okay, now we will play around with that. And move it around a little bit. I hope it doesn't get totally all over the front. I really don't want the design covered up too much. And now this is thicker resin, uh, by the way. The first resin that I put on there was Nick Pro, and it's very thin. And uh, of course, he sat in the the cure machine for over four hours. But this right here is a four hour cure. I think I got too much in that one. I don't think there's too much in this one. I think I got way too much. And these two. But now glitter tends to sink. So I'm sort of moving it around. And playing around with it. Don't want the big chunky glitter on top of the face. I'm 
Get that more around the sides. And I'm just playing with it. I'm just moving it around. In hopes that it will sort of stay off to the side. And I don't mind if some of the glitter. As long as you can still see the sticker. Pretty good. Push back the big clumps. That one's got more in in it. The big clumps. I sort of want to stick something down there. I wish they'd colored the eyes in. But I'll know to do that next time. Because color is not very predominant in these. The colors don't pop like I want them to pop. They're still very pretty. I love owls, so. And I don't think it would have been good with a, a black background because if I put it up against black, because I thought, well, maybe I'll do a, a coat of black on the back. But I don't think that would have been good either. Uh... Like one, I got my iPhone laying right there. One day I'm going to do that. I'm going to get writing all over it. And that's going to be bad. Oh, y'all, I'm planning a trip to Connecticut next month. I'm excited about that. Of course, I will be filming my trip. I'm going to be uh, getting on Amtrak and taking Amtrak up to Connecticut. We'll stop over at Penn Station in New York City and then I'll get on a commuter train from there to Hartford, Connecticut. And I'm really excited about that trip. And I most definitely will take y'all along through the magic of video. I'm hoping by then the bears will start hibernating. It would freak me out to see a bear. Well, as close as the bears are in their yard. They have bears that just come through their yard. I got way more glitter in this one than any of the other ones. Way, way more. Oh, 
Okay, I'm going to quit fiddling around with it. Because that's all I'm doing is I'm fiddling with it. And I don't want it on the edge. So I'm going to take a, a baby wipe. I'm going to put alcohol on. I'm going to clean off the edge. Alrighty, well, we will be back. <laughs> this phone has got resin all over the off and on pause button. We will be back. Hey y'all, okay, I'm back. These are done. I'm going to lift this one up so you can see it. That is the sticker. I did put uh, a top layer of resin on the top. I'm really happy with the outcome of these. I think they're very, very pretty. I've got three of them, as you can see. One, two, and this one. Got some bubbles right there but i'm okay with that i'm going to put um some of those um clear bumper things on the back it's real smooth there's nothing catching around the and for it just to be a sticker from a piece of clay that i did years ago i think that's pretty cool that you can do that so i'm i'm happy with those uh i also wanted to show you I think this is done now. Uh, the alcohol ink ones that I did. Uh, I put UV resin on them. And uh, that's the finished I don't know why there's light blaring on that. But And I'm going to put a little uh, string on there and maybe like a little bow or something. I don't know. Uh, and I may put something on there. I'm fixing to pull my silhouette machine out. And uh, I may start uh, doing a lot of uh, images. This one is not done yet. I have not put anything on it, and I need to do the back, but I'm going to. And the same thing with this one. Uh, that's the other alcohol ink one that I did in that one video. The back is still not done, but I, I will be finishing those two. And and uh, they may be plain, or they may have something on there. I don't know yet, but I think they're very pretty uh, once they're sealed. And so I just wanted to show y'all. Uh, and that's sealed. That is washable. That is ready to go. And that's UV resin that I did that with. Uh, yeah, I tore my glove. Look at there. Uh, but, and that is going to be it for this video. I hope you all have enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Um, if you uh, haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to do so. I did not even introduce myself, but 
it's the end of the video i'll go ahead and do it my name is beth for all of y'all that are new i'm glad that you stopped by and for all of y'all that are subscribers or have been here before and have not yet subscribed thank you for coming back so much and if you've not subs subscribed please consider doing so thumbs up button uh that way thumbs thumbs up button <laughs> that's really hard to do y'all um at this angle but if uh if you wouldn't mind please hit that thumbs up button it, it does mean a whole lot to all youtubers um it's what gets uh us in the algorithm so people can see our videos and with that i'm going to say good night thank you for stopping by and i hope that uh, y'all will come back i hope you have a fantastic evening it's late i had my grandson here so i got a late start and this was like a three-step process so i started this at four o'clock i think it's now almost 10. um and i came down here just as soon as it stopped and uh where i could get this up so but I'll, I hope y'all have a fantastic day tomorrow, and I do plan on having a video up tomorrow, but I have a craft show coming up on Saturday, um, and I've got to get my stuff packed and ready to go tomorrow, um, so it may be a short little video, but I do plan on having something. It may be uh, me packing and getting ready for the craft show. Uh, I have no idea yet. Um, there will not be a video on Saturday. There may be one on Sunday from uh footage from the craft fair on uh, saturday they're calling for lows of 39 degrees and high of 63 it's an outside event so we are going to freeze our little behinds off um thankfully we have electricity so i'm going to be carrying a little heater with us and um i'm, I'm trying to get myself to look forward to this <laughs> Uh, right now, I'm not that excited about it. I know that's horrible because normally I love uh, craft shows, but this is their first one that they've ever done. It's on a Christmas tree farm, um, and something tells me it's just going to be slow, and you know, if it is, that's okay, but it's going to be so cold, and uh, it's going to take a while for this old body to get adjusted to the, the colder temperatures again but i can carry a blanket and everything will be just fine uh, <laughs> thank y'all again for stopping by and i will see you again real soon bye bye